Alrighty, so now we've talked a little bit about how we get change to occur within our lives and we've talked about how we create our plan. But let's talk about what's really going to go on. Because what I've seen with a lot of people is, you know, we live on this planet. Yes, that's a planet, not a smiley face that's been on crack. We live on this planet and uh, here we are, we're running our business, we're really busy. And you know what, every so often when we're running our lives, these problems arise. And when we see this problem, right, and we say, hmm, that's a big problem, I think we'll just ignore it. Not only will we ignore it, we will run the other way. So we'll, he we'll head off this way, right, and we'll just ignore it, and we'll brush it under the carpet, which is all fine, right? But the reality is, the Earth is a round planet, and by the time we do a full circumnavigation of the planet, not only has that problem not gone away, it's actually become twice as big. So one of the things we need to identify in our planning process is what are the obstacles that are in our path and how are we going to navigate those obstacles. So what are the problems that we need to deal with, not just brush under the carpet, or else they're never going to go away. Now this could be to do with employees, it could be to do with clients, it could be to do with products, it could be to do with lack of knowledge around finances. So you need to really start thinking about what are the problems that I've been ignoring in the past that just keeps sabotaging my way forward. Because as soon as we identify these, instead of running away from them, we can face them head on and we can deal with them and resolve those problems so that we can move forward. What stops us moving forward? There's probably a couple of things we need to be talking about. The first one is this one. I want to talk a little bit about fear because I think fear is probably one of the things that stops people moving forward the most in business. And it's funny because when we think about what they fear and we start doing the actual assessment of what they're fearing, it's very little. I'll give you an interesting story. I was down at Portsea Back Beach one day and I was there with my girlfriend and uh, we were watching all these little kids and they were jumping off the cliff into the rock pool. It looked pretty cool, you know, and being a bloke as I was, I thought, yeah, this sounds like a bit of fun. I'm going to head down to that rock pool and I'm going to jump in as well. Now, I get to the top of the cliff and all these kids are running in and jumping in and all my mates have come up there and they've all jumped in and I'm still on the edge and all I can see is rocks. And I realised it's not just jump, it's actually run and jump. And so I have started to freeze, right, and I started to have this fear. And it was sort of like I could see the guys in the water and they're all going, he's not going to jump and I could see bets going down. And it was sort of getting a bit sort of embarrassing, there was a bit of pressure on me. So what do I do? what any normal human being would do is just, just jump, right? So I took a running leap into the water, I landed in the water, went under, came back up, first thing I said is, that's awesome, let's do it again. So what changed? Because the cliff didn't change. The only thing that changed is that I faced my fear. Because often what we think is fear is really just... false evidence assuming what could happen and making it into this big thing. So I was sitting there and I was terrified about jumping off this cliff. But as soon as I went off the cliff and I realised that it wasn't that hard, I was back up there second time, third time, fourth time and all of a sudden things became easy. But one of the things with fear is that most of us live in fear and this fear is debilitating. It actually stops us moving forward and sometimes we overthink things and we actually make them bigger than they are. And sometimes the best thing we can do is feel the fear and just move forward. So when it comes to moving your business forward, be prepared to feel some fear because the comfort zone that we're in is comfortable. That's why it's called the comfort zone. But it should be called the familiarity zone because the truth is not that we're comfortable, it's just that it's status quo. And when we want to grow, we need to move outside that comfort zone and we need to face the fear and move forward.